They're turning the friggin' frogs gay. The AI has possessed the cells of the, the masses. They want to kill me. They're actively plotting against me. They program our minds to disable our natural hormone production. They distracted me and tried to kill these birds and something made it feel so unsafe that they never came back. While I was trying to save those neglected cats. But I got a notification for a terror reading that took place a month ago. And the guy thought that it was this king that failed this long cycle that had been dragging on for years. But in reality, as the tarot went on, it realized that the guy realized the one, there's two tarot readers that I feel are actually gifted based on my knowledge and understanding of other dimensional realms I visit in my 24 years of isolation and perseverance through your world that he realized that this emperor that had failed his cycle didn't fail he lost everything he had everything taken from him and was stuck in isolation because it was to force him to go inside and to introspect and to realize the inner world again to connect back to god and see his will and to understand the inner workings of nature. And I didn't I didn't watch the rest. I just opened the video. I want to show you in November I started designing my TV show that I'm extremely proud of and it's taken me years and years and years of creative evolution and perseverance to get to that high level of emotional intu intuitive understanding and creative skill and ability for me to churn out things that raise people back to the highest and have these transformative moments that make people cry so Close your eyes. Imagine right in front of you, a little bit up, a little bit to the left, there's a staircase that goes from the middle, scrolling up to the right, and then back to the middle. Kind of like a not as curved, a more closer to straight version of the spiral staircase or the curved staircases in a mansion but it's all made of stone and it goes to a single long watchtower so it looks like a castle keep or one giant rook that's long like rectangular and it's got the crenellations on the top it's got that expanded crenellated roof and it's decrepit it's broken down because a long battle had happened and there's a king with a long beard, still black, he's young, he's in his 30s, long hair, kind of like lazier, worn down clothes that used to be royal, and he's just sitting enjoying himself, smoke, smoking a peace pipe or whatever, and he looks up and blows a little fireball out of his mouth, like, Phew! and it hits a leaf and knocks it down, and as it falls, he does another one, Phew! And it burns the leaf in the shape of a heart. And he's holding the heart. 
in this decrepit, broken-down castle in a garden. And the garden has a dome over it. It has so many little facets and interweavings of the hedges and all the different birds that lead to different enclosures where he keeps his family members that have been corrupted by a curse that enhances their inner workings and problems into lifelike creature form. Like his cousin is a young skinny girl that gets angry and lashes out and she turns into like half goat horned, half purple scaled with wings, dragon that runs around this tinier dome inside spitting fire and her mother's in there cleaning up the mess that she leaves behind constantly with her incessant need to clean to fix her daughter's problems and they're both just screaming and arguing at each other as these creatures that go back and forth based on the emotional intelligence and there's further up past the keep on the right further up there's a smaller more roman centered shack house with a, a tree growing like tons of these roots growing out and the roots go into the garden and then periodically spit flames through the roots like you see this fiery energy go through the garden just at random moments And the keep is red and gray. That's what I imagined and I drew and I wrote from a specific perspective. And six months later after being stuck in the snow and having to fight crackheads for years and ostracization and everywhere I went it seemed like the entire world was against me. Everywhere I went, it was people trying to steal my power through relationships and hurt me. And I was just pushing and pushing this creative perseverance to make my best magnum opus. And the thing that I saw in my mind looked a lot like this. <laughs> 